Hello Williams class, for your English lesson today, the learning objective is, can I write out the first part of my non-chronological report? In the previous lesson, we were going over the features of a non-chronological report and we were creating our own toolkits. As a starter activity, see if you can correct the following paragraph about Boudicca. Write the correct paragraph out neatly in your books. Here is the paragraph. See if you can correct it and write out the neat, write out the correct paragraph neatly. Off you go. Now, if I was to write this out neatly, here is how I would do so. I would start my paragraph with a capital letter and I would write Boudicca. Was, so I'm going to write was with an S instead of a Z, the queen, so I just need two E's for that, not three like they've uh, put there, of the Iceni tribe. So Iceni needs a capital I because it is the name of a tribe. And then I write tribe, full stop, capital S, she had, had does not need a capital letter, long, and then I'd put a comma because I'm listing red hair. So this is a homophone where it sounds the same, but we're not talking about hair as in rabbit. We're talking about hair as in your hair. Um, and was very tall. And then I would put a full stop. Capital letter when the Romans, I would put a capital R because it is the name of a type of people, um, when the Romans came to Britain, I would put a capital B because it is the name of a place, came to Britain, comma, they made, so that's another homophone, two words that sound the same but are spelt differently. So we're not talking about made as in a servant, we're talking about made, like you're making something in the past tense. They made a deal, so spelling deal correctly here, with King Prasetagus. Prasetagus to share his land. Full stop. When, capital W and spelling when correctly is one of our red words. When uh, the, where's my mouse gone? The, King died, comma, the Romans, so again, capital R, because it is the name of a type of people, the Romans went against their word and had Boudicca, so it needs a capital B because it is the name of a person. Boudicca and her daughters beaten. Full stop. So that is how your paragraph, once it's been corrected, should look like. Today, we will be writing out the first part of the text map together. So have a different colour ready to mark your capital letters and your punctuation. So here we go. We'll be writing out the opening paragraph with our heading and the paragraph about Boudicca's army. So I'm going to read that out for you. I've got my red colored pen ready to highlight. What was it? The capital letters and the punctuation. Right, so Boudicca, 
queen of the Iceni tribe. So here we've got our capital letter, comma, capital letter, capital letter, and that's it. Next paragraph. Have you ever wondered what makes a good leader? Read on to find out more about a famous leader who led her tribe in a rebellion against the Roman Empire. So we've got our capital letter for have, we've got our question mark, capital letter after our question mark, we have got Roman with a capital letter and empire with a capital letter. And then we've got a full stop at the end of our paragraph. Next part, who was Boudicca? So capital letter for who, capital letter for Boudicca, and then a question mark. Now, this is the last paragraph that you will be writing. It goes as follows. Boudicca was the joint ruler of the British Iceni tribe who lived in a region of Britain now known as East Anglia with her husband, Prasitagus. Under Roman law, Boudicca, as a woman, had no right to inherit her husband's property. Prasitagus hoped to safeguard Boudicca's position by making an agreement to leave half his property to Rome. In, 90, in 59 or 60 AD, Prasitagus died when Boudicca attempted to defy the Romans who had come to seize her property, they had her beaten and attacked her daughters. Right, so the spelling, not the spelling, the capital letters and the punctuation we're looking for. Capital B for Boudicca. British has a capital letter. Iceni has a capital letter. Britain has a capital letter. So all the names of places. East Anglia, capital letters. You've got a comma there. You also have a comma after tribe, don't forget. With her husband, comma, and then Prasitagus, capital letter, and full stop to end the sentence. Capital letter, because we just started writing a new sentence. Roman has a capital letter. Um, Boudicca has a capital letter. Comma there, as a woman, another comma there. Um, Boudicca, again, capital letter. And then we've got Rome with a capital letter. Full stop, capital I for in because we're starting another sentence. Now, AD is capitalized because that those are letters that stand for different words. Um, then you've got Prasadega starting with a capital letter. Full stop, another capital letter. Capital letter for Boudicca. Um, Romans has a capital letter, then a comma there, and lastly, full stop at the end of our sentence and paragraph there. A lot of capital letters and a lot of punctuation, but it is really, really important that we do go through our text map to find these features because we want to make sure that we are including as many of them as possible. Your three tasks for today are as follows. Task number one is to write out the two paragraphs yourself. So you've seen me model how to correct your paragraph. I'll show you very quickly, right over here. So you're going to do the same thing with um, the paragraphs that we've just looked at. So this title, this paragraph, this title, and this paragraph. And you're just going to write it out. So what's important to remember when you are writing out the passage that you have to, it's all on the screen for you in terms of what to write. So what you have to make sure you remember is keeping your handwriting as beautiful as possible. Once you have finished task number one, task number two is to read through your writing and check your spellings, making sure that as many words as possible, if not all of them are spelt correctly. You can use the text map to help you with your spellings. Um, all the spellings are there, so there should be no problem at all to write them out correctly. And then last but not least, task number three is, can you create a short paragraph of your own that could be included in a non-chronological report about Boudicca? Make sure that your paragraph is around a theme. So if you look in the text map, you've got um, three different paragraphs, I would say, or three different sections in our text map. You've got one about who Boudicca was, you've got one about physical characteristics, so what Boudicca looked like, and then you've got a section about Boudicca's army. So who was in her army? What did her army look like? Why did she have an army? So when you're writing out your own paragraph, make sure that it's about something. Is it about diet? What Boudicca used to eat? 
Is it about Boudicca's friends? Is it about Boudicca's family? Think about what you could base that paragraph around and then write it. What would really help you is um, adding a heading, so adding some sort of title to tell me and anyone else reading your work what your paragraph is about. So that is it for our English lesson for today, Williams class. Enjoy writing out your part of your text map. Enjoy reading through, checking your spellings, and I look forward to seeing everything that you write. I'll see you very soon.